Hi, my name is Mylon Lefevre, and music is in my blood. I got my first big break when Elvis Presley recorded a song I'd written at 17 years old. That moment changed my life forever. I went from having nothing to having my dreams come true. I toured the world and played with some of the biggest names in music and had more money than I knew what to do with. I finally hit rock bottom when I almost died from a drug overdose, and it became painfully obvious something had to change. Everything did change when I gave my life to Jesus at a second chapter of Acts concert in 1980. God instantly delivered me from drugs and totally turned my life around. I began to use my gift of music for the Lord and started a Christian band, Mylon and Broken Heart. It eventually grew to be one of the biggest Christian rock bands in the world at the time. We won several Grammys and Dove Awards, but most importantly, we led over 200,000 kids to Christ. Now, years later, I'm still living for Jesus, and my wife, Christy, and I travel the globe proclaiming God's goodness. I've been from rock bottom to the mountaintop, and I'm going all the way to heaven, so come on and join me on the road to freedom. Freedom in Wahala, South Carolina, you've joined us at the legendary Bolt Farm Treehouse. And in the background here, we've got the Honeymoon Treehouse, which is very romantic. Oh my and God. we're enjoying this place. It is absolutely beautiful with all the Spanish moss and the palm trees and all the big egrets. Is that how you say it? Those yeah, birds yeah. are so pretty. Stork. They look like storks. Yeah, they look they, like storks. The alligators, the turtles, the great blue heron. I mean, this is just an amazing, tree. beautiful birds place. Birds chirping constantly in the background. Yeah, and absolutely squirrels gorgeous. running through the trees, man, and all this Spanish <laughs> moss hanging. This is awesome. It's awesome. Down so we're glad you joined country. us. Yeah, this is new scenery for us, so we're really excited to be here. So text two friends, text some family members, some uh, let them know to join us on the road to freedom. We'd love the opportunity to minister the word to them today. Also, don't forget we have a brand new podcast so you can catch us on the go anywhere in your car, at the gym, when you run errands. So don't miss on the road to freedom. You can catch the brand new episode every week on our new podcast. The reason why we do this show is because John 8, 31 and 32, Jesus said, if you will continue in my word, then you truly are my disciples and you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. So we are so thankful that you joined us today to give us the opportunity to share the truth with you because this show is for you. It's to see you set on your road to freedom. So today what we wanna to talk to you about is the truth that Jesus did it all for you. Amen. And we are so excited and about me. it. And me. That's yeah, right, and me. <laughs> he did it all for you and me. Praise God. And today, the scripture that we want to focus on is Psalm 107, 20. And it says, He sent His word and healed them, and He delivered them from their destructions. So praise God, the healing power of God comes from His word. And that's what we want to discuss with you today. And, you know, destruction covers a lot of stuff. Yeah not, yeah, not just sickness and disease. That's right. But destruction. There's a lot of destruction going on around the world. But the Word says that Jesus came to give us life and life more abundant. Even though there is a thief, Satan has come to steal and kill and destroy. That's destruction. Yeah, right. The enemy wants right. to destroy your life. And God wants to give you a better life. Yeah. You get to choose. Amen. That's the good news. Uh -huh. The good news of the gospel is Praise it's God. your choice. You can choose the blessing mm -hmm. and you'll be blessed in the morning when you get up, blessed when you go to sleep at night, yeah. blessed going in, blessed going out, blessed in the country. Here we are, a blessed <laughs> in the field. Amen. Praise God, man, you get to choose. Yeah, but if you good. don't choose to trust God and obey Him, then you get the, you get the curse by default. Mm -hmm. And that's what the world has. The world, all that represents is people who don't believe in Jesus Christ. They do not believe there is a God or that Jesus is His Son. And so they miss out on the kingdom of God, mm -hmm. which is a wonderful place. 
We are in the world, but not of it. Mm -hmm. So the world is affected financially, for instance. But I'm a tither, so it doesn't affect me the same way it does somebody who ignores Jesus. We were talking to a guy recently, and I yeah. won't say who, but we were sharing the love of God with somebody, and, and they questioned, well, why would such a love, and you keep saying he loves me, why would a love in God put his son through such torture to be hung on a cross and beat and tortured and everything? And of course, we were quick to answer, he did it for me and you. Yeah. That's why he did it. Thank God so Jesus. loved the world yes. that he gave. he gave. He loved everybody. Mm -hmm. Now, there's some horrible people who don't accept his love and they don't get to go to heaven, but he wanted them to and he gave them the opportunity. Every single person. That's why we preach the gospel mm -hmm. to make sure that everybody gets an opportunity. It's possible. Yeah, amen. Our Heavenly Father's plan of redemption is twofold. Yeah, of very course, good. salvation mm -hmm. is the beginning. Everybody needs to be born again, Jesus said. Born not just of the flesh of their mom and dad's decision, but born of the spirit, which is your decision. You choose whether to receive Jesus. And if you do, you are born again. You are born of the spirit. You're born of the will of God, not just the will of your mom and dad. And so once you get born again, that's awesome. But he did more than just salvation on that cross. When Jesus came here and lived for us and died for us and went to hell for us so we wouldn't have to go and conquer death, hell, and the grave mm -hmm. and took the keys to death, hell, and the grave and rose again yeah. and gave us his anointing before he went back to heaven and told us, go in all the world now and teach and preach and make, make disciples. disciples yeah. Well, that accomplished more than just salvation. It also accomplished healing. Jesus endured being beaten and whipped and tortured. Mm -hmm. The Roman soldiers, until he was unrecognizable, the Bible says. Isaiah yeah. 52, 14 in the NIV says his appearance was so disfigured wow. beyond that of any human being and his form marred beyond human likeness. Mm -hmm. Jesus was beaten with a whip. They call it a cat of nine tails. It had small pieces of glass and bones and metal attached to it. And once they hit him, they'd jerk it back and tear the skin off his back. Yeah. Why did he endure this incomprehensible pain and suffering? Why did God allow it? So that we, we could, could be, be healed. healed. So that by Thank his you, stripes, yes. that were put on his back by that yes. will, we could be healed. That's it. Isaiah 53 and verse 4 and 5 said, Surely he has yes. borne our griefs. The Hebrew word, which is sicknesses, that's what griefs is, and carried our sorrows. The Hebrew word for sorrows is diseases. Mm -hmm. Yet we esteemed him stricken, smitten by God and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions. Yeah. That's the reason God allowed them to wound Jesus for my sins and yours. He was bruised for our iniquities, our sins again. The chastisement of mine and your peace yes. in the middle of the chaos around us was upon him and by his stripes we, we are, are healed. healed. Now, if you believe that, you need to say that. Mm -hmm. If the doctor says you're sick and your body says you feel sick, stop saying that. That's agreeing with the devil. The devil's offered you sickness and disease and you've accepted it. Don't do that. Mm -hmm. The Bible says, let the weak say, I am strong. strong. Unless you want to stay weak, then say, I'm weak today. And I'm going to be weak tomorrow and weaker. And you will get weaker. But you, what you say is, we believe and therefore we speak. This is the word of faith that Jesus taught, that Paul and mm -hmm. da King David said. Yeah. And, and that's what we believe and that's what we speak. Matthew 8 and verse 17 confirms that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by Isaiah the prophet saying, he himself, Jesus, took our infirmities and yes. bore our sicknesses. Yes. Now look, man, Thank you, if Lord. Jesus did that, you don't have to do that. Yeah. <laughs> he did it for me and you. Mm -hmm. Amen? Mm -hmm. He did Thank it you, so Lord. that when the devil tries to take your health, you can stand on the Word of God and stop him from getting it. If Jesus bore it for us, we don't need to bear it. Yeah. When were we healed? 2,000 years Yeah, ago. that's right. That's when our healing was accomplished. <laughs> Thank you. How do we know we're healed? Because the, the Word of God says, by his stripes you were healed. 
Yeah. He said, I sent his word. He sent his word and healed them. Mm -hmm. He said, my word is life to those that find it and health. Listen now. The word of God is health to all their flesh. Yeah. What about this one organ? And what about this place here? What? It, all your flesh. All. Oh. The word of God is health. Yes. If I were you, I'd take my pills every day. If the doctor said, take this three times a day, you'd take it if it'd keep you alive. Yeah. And God said, son, I've got a better way. Let me talk to you. Sit down with my word and let me speak it to you by my spirit. And meditate on it and think about it and say it out loud. The more you say it, remember faith comes by hearing, hearing the word of God. The more I speak the word, the more I hear it. Mm -hmm. How much word do I, how much faith do you want? You can build your faith to where you have mountain moving faith. Yeah, that's because good. God's plan of redemption is twofold. His will is that we have the same faith in our healing as we do in our salvation. Ooh, that's good. That's Listen, good. man, if every preacher yeah. who preaches about salvation all the time, now, the, a lot of preachers don't believe in healing. They think it was for the Old Testament or the, for the early church or you know, so they don't preach that. Are they? Well, you might get You never know what God's going to do. That's not true, man. God wrote a book and told you exactly what he would do. Mm -hmm. and what he said was, if I can find anybody that believes, yeah. anything is possible. All things All are things. possible. Yeah. Only believe. He even said this to one guy. He said, fear not, only believe, because fear is the opposite of faith. Yeah. If you'll decide to believe God and refuse fear, is faith in the devil. His, his ability to steal and kill and destroy. But faith in God's word is exactly the opposite. Perfect love or mature love cast out all fear. Now, how does that work? You stay in love. It means you stop getting offended easily when people do something you don't like. You stop getting in strife with everybody. That means you got to be quick to forgive and slow to anger. But that's what God is like. What does it mean to grow up in love? Grow up in God, grow up in the Word. Become a doer and not just one who goes to church and has the same bad temper you had 30 years ago before you got saved. And just it gets mad and tells people off and spiritually assassinate people, put them out of your life because they did something you disagreed with. What if God did that to me every time I made a mistake? Mm -hmm. I'd never make heaven. But God is love. Yeah, God is love. And love means before you make a mistake, man, I forgive you because I love you. Jesus is the pure, unblemished Lamb of God. Yes. Sacrificed everything for us so that we might be in right standing with God and be set free from the bondage of sickness and disease. Who himself bore our sins yes. in his own body. Thank you. On the tree that we, having died to sins, might, might live, live for righteousness. Yes. By whose stripes you and me were healed. That's right. I just want to say before we leave this issue, I am the healed in Jesus' name. And I will live long and proclaim the goodness of God in the land of the living. You hear us talking from time to time about Team Milan. What is Team Milan? Let me just tell you, first of all, what it's not. It's not an email list for raising money. Right. This is not my job. This is my calling. This is what the Holy Spirit, this is my assignment. Teaching the Word of God is my assignment from God. Christy and I were told by the Lord Jesus to go into all the world and teach and preach and make disciples. Yes. And that's what we're doing here on TV. So if you want to be a part of Team Milan, obviously Jesus said, uh, in order to go into all the world and teach and preach and make disciples, somebody's got to send you. How can they go unless they're sent? Mm -hmm. That's what Team Milan is about. That's right. And there's three ways that you can be a part of Team Milan is through number one, through prayer, praying faith-filled prayers of agreement with us according to the Word of God, because where one can put a thousand to flight, two can put 10,000. You can also participate with us in the gospel through giving, right. giving of your finances 
as the Holy Spirit leads you to be a cheerful giver into every good work. And then thirdly, you can also be a social media evangelist yes. by sharing and liking our show. You can share the link with family and friends and tell them about On the Road to Freedom. So what are you doing with the rest of your life? Yeah. Why don't you join us at Team Milan and do your part. God will do His. I'll promise you, Christy and I'll do ours. We'll teach the Word of God and we'll help everybody. We'll make it as fun as possible and we'll help everybody to understand it as clearly as we can so that they can make wise choices for Jesus and enjoy His best. You join the team. We'll be stronger and better with you. You can make a difference in this world on Team Milan. We need you. God bless you. So contact us at Milan.org and click on Team Milan today. This verse in particular concerning the twofold redemption that Jesus accomplished for us, because again, it's saying he bore our sins in his body and by whose stripes we were healed. So both it's a twofold redemption. If you'll please get that today, what Jesus did for you was not just salvation. He also provided a way for you to receive healing for your body from all sickness and all disease so that you could walk in a place called divine health. And so everywhere, because of this, everywhere you see the word saved, in the original meaning of the word salvation, sozo, healing is included in that package. It's the whole package salvation is. Sozo is preservation, it's health, it's protection, it's provision, it's deliverance, it's the whole deal. So everywhere you see the word saved, you can put the word healed. You know, as I was yeah. meditating on these verses, you know, in this recent challenge that we had um, in Mylan's health, I started reviewing God's promises on healing. And so we immersed ourselves in the Word of God. And this is one revelation that the Lord gave me recently that I can put, if it's a twofold redemption, then everywhere I see saved, I can say healed. So Romans 10, 8 and 11, let me give an example. It says, but what does it say? The Word is near you. It's in your mouth and in your heart. That is the Word of faith which we preach. So. When we talk That's to you about the word of faith, the word has got to be in two places. It's got to be in your heart and in your mouth. Come on, we man. believe and therefore we speak. Yeah. Out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. So you got to get the word in there so that you can decree God's promises over your life and see them come to pass. So that verse nine says, so that if you confess with your mouth, the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart, that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Amen. Now, let me say it this way, that if you confess with your mouth, Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be healed. Yes, you will. <laughs> right? That's right. Because he accomplished them both at the same time at the cross. Verse 10, for with the heart, one believes unto righteousness and with the mouth, confession is made unto salvation. For with the heart, I know I'm being redundant here, but I really want you to get this. For with the heart, one believes unto righteousness and with the mouth, confession is made unto healing. Amen. For the scripture says, whoever believes on him will not be put to shame. You will never be embarrassed. That's right. When you choose to trust God, Amen. when you choose to take God at his word, you will never be put to shame. Verse 13 says, for whoever calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Hallelujah. For whoever calls upon the name of the Lord shall, shall be, be healed. healed. <laughs> That's it. Amen. So in the Webster's 1828 dictionary, healed is defined as, I love this definition, restored to a sound state. So healing in our body, restored to soundness Amen. in our body, wholeness, Nothing missing, nothing broken. And you know, our father in the faith, Kenneth Copeland, he prophesied that 2021 
And you may be seeing this in a different year, but you can apply this to any year yes. that this is airing, right? A year of divine health, divine healing, divine prosperity, and divine recovery. Now that word recovery and restoration have the same meaning of getting back what was stolen. And that's what healing's about. It's being restored to soundness in your physical body. And Jeremiah 30, 17 says, for I will, this is the Lord talking, for I will restore health to you Glory and to I will heal I all you. your wounds, says the Lord. Thank you. So praise God, we receive that today. Hallelujah. Thank you, yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen. The benefits that God talks about in Psalm 103, I know I've told you this before, in Texas, you can choose what kind of, <laughs> what you want on your tags. Uh -huh. And so I chose Psalm 103. Bless the Lord, O my soul, Lord. and all that's within me. Your soul is your mind, your will, and your, your emotions. Mm -hmm. Your mind, your will, your intellect. Yeah. Your will to live, to, to live for yeah, Jesus. Yeah. And your emotions, which is, that's where usually people get in trouble. How they feel really has nothing to do with living by faith. Bless the Lord, he said it again, O my soul, and forget not one of his benefits. That's right. Who forgives all your iniquities, that's one of them. Mm -hmm. He forgives all your sins. Now see, all Christians believe that, yeah. or they wouldn't be Christians. Mm -hmm. Well, listen to this one. Who heals all your diseases. Yeah. A lot of Christians don't believe that. When they pray to get healed, they hope it'll work. But that ain't believing. Mm -hmm. Faith and hope are two different. Hope is in the right direction. Mm -hmm. Faith is the substance of things hoped, hoped for. for. Yeah. Hope is the blueprint of the faith that God's going to give you if you stay in the Word. Yeah, amen. 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 Who heals all your diseases. That's one of the benefits of being a child of God. And notice how those are back to back again. Oh, yeah. What we've been talking about. Well, they're accomplished at the same time. Right, that's yes. right. Pastors, y'all need to help me with this, man. You know this is real. We need to be teaching this just like we teach salvation. salvation that's right. People would get mm -hmm. healed as easy as they get saved yeah. if we taught it constantly and they heard it. Yes. You know, the word never comes back. Boy, if you teach on salvation, people get saved. Yes. If you teach on the Holy Spirit, people get filled. Mm -hmm. If you teach on healing, people we'll get, get healed. healed. That's so we right. need to be teaching this. Yeah, amen. Who redeems your life from destruction who crowns you with loving kindness yes. and tender mercies, who satisfies your mouth. In other words, if you're willing to put his word in your mouth, he will satisfy your mouth with good things so that your yes. youth is renewed like the eagle. Yeah. By the time you see this, I could be 80, but right now I'm almost 77. And my youth is renewed in Jesus' Amen. name, like the eagle. And I am so thankful that instead of getting older, I'm getting wiser, glory <laughs> to God. Mature, yeah, no problem, got more miles on me, but able to do the will of God with a good attitude and be thankful. And you're getting better and better looking too. Oh, come on, girl, you <laughs> preaching yes, good you now. Are. And you know, I want you guys to know that I have heard him quote this, Psalm 103, these verses, we've been married 23 years now, and I have heard him quote this from the beginning, from the first year of our marriage for 23 years, you've been quoting these verses and especially um, that your youth is renewed like the eagles. And I have seen God honor his word in your life over and over and over again. So be encouraged today that you can take God at his word. You can stand on the rock of his word. He is faithful. His word will not return void. Yes. It will go forth and accomplish what he sends it yes, forth to it accomplish. Will. And he has proven that in our lives. Praise Amen. God. Amen. We encourage you to look up these scriptures. Don't just take it what anything somebody says on TV, even Christian right. TV. You need to know it's God's word if you're going to bet your life on it. Yeah, that's, that's right. That's what I'm doing. Amen. We encourage you to look up these scriptures. Meditate on them. That just means think about them. Mm -hmm. Think about what they really mean. That's when that's when the Holy Spirit reveals things to you. Yeah. And declare them or decree them over and over in your life and over your family. That's right. Your health, your business. And we stand in agreement with you for total restoration 
of anything and everything, everything. the devil has stolen from you. You team Milan <laughs> members, as you know, I send you emails and letters and stuff and videos and things. And by the way, if you're not a team Milan member, you need to check it out. It's real easy. Just go to Milan.org and check it out. Yeah, everything we've got right. free daily devotional. It's yeah. in video. It's really cool. We spent five years on motorcycles yeah, we did. going to pretty places mm -hmm. all over the North America yep. filming beautiful so stuff. Good. We call it Church on the Run because it was a daily devotion, quick and easy. You can do it on the way before the work and and uh, with the kids. And and so we're making everything we can free. We're in the process of doing a, web, a new website. When it gets done, we'll make all the word we can free mm -hmm. uh, downloads. We're doing everything we can to help you to get to heaven. This is not our show. I'm already going to heaven, and I'm. by the way, I'm really enjoying the trip, too. <laughs> and God wants you to, too. Amen. So get in the Word. If you're going to get back everything the devil stole from you, and that's what we're in agreement with, I want you to say this with me before we go today. Jesus bore my sins. Jesus bore my sins. And now I'm free. And now I am free. From the law of sin and death. From the law of sin and death. 2,000 years ago. 2,000 years ago. He took all my sickness and disease. He took all my sickness and diseases. And by His stripes. And by His stripes. I am healed. I am healed. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank this you, This is my year of divine recovery. This is my year of divine recovery. Divine healing. Divine healing. Divine health. Divine health. And divine prosperity. And divine prosperity. I believe that all my needs are met. I believe that all my needs are According met. According to His riches in glory. According to His riches in glory. By Christ Jesus. By Christ Jesus. Now, I believe God's going to do something. Thank Don't you. just say that one time. You can bag the tape up, and or you can go yeah, on mylon.org. Right. Yeah. Every one of these shows is on demand. You can click on any of them anytime. That's right. You can stop them on your computer, and you can write things down, and you can back them up, and you can get that information so that you get in the habit, yeah, a good. holy habit. Mm -hmm. I used to have habits of doing dope and getting drunk and all kind of bad language and stuff. I had some bad habits. But now I got some holy habits. Mm -hmm. You start putting the word of God in your mouth, your life's going to change. Yeah. You start That's saying right. when you're weak that you're strong, you're going to get stronger. Yeah. You start saying you're healed when you're sick, you're going to be pleasantly surprised. That's right. And I want to uh, I, I want to thank you guys. So far, we've been filming this show for a little over three years. Mm -hmm. And this is the first show where yeah. we've ever had all the equipment here. Ooh. It's actually ours. I want to thank you guys yes. at Team Milan. Thank You're you. You're helping us to you. take the word around the world, thank and you. we love you. Thank we got to go. We're out of time from South Carolina. That's right. We want to tell you one more time how much we love you, how thankful we are for you, and how much God loves you. Stay in the word because that will keep you on, on the, the road, road to freedom. freedom.